let's talk about setting up customer payment terms. These are the payment terms that you're going to offer to your customers who purchase goods and services from you and want to carry a balance. To set up customer terms, come here to the Maintain pull-down menu. Come down to Default Information and over to Customers. The Customer Defaults window appears next. The first tab that is shown is the Payment Terms tab. We have five standard terms to choose from. COD, prepaid, due in number of days, due on day of next month, and due at end of month. COD implies that customers pay upon the delivery of the good or the service. Prepaid implies that customers pay at the time the good or service is ordered. Due in number of days is the most common term that is offered. Here, the number of days is normally set at 30. We can offer a discount if they pay in 10 days, and let's set our discount level at 2%. This encourages a customer to pay in 10 days so that they can receive a discount of 2%. For a customer that's managing their cash flow, this encourages them to take advantage of the discount because it's actually cheaper for them to borrow the money from their bank to pay you within the 10 days than it is to lose the 2% discount and carry it the balance to the 30 days. And finally, down here, we can set the default credit limit for all of our customers. Here due on day of next month. Check this box and we can say for example that we want to be paid on the fifth of next month. We can still offer a discount which encourages them once again to pay within the 10 days. And finally we can say due at end of month. So this shades this window out because Peachtree knows you want to be paid at the end of the month. Once again, we can still offer an early pay discount. Down here, we need to tell Peachtree what our default GL sales account is. We can select the magnifying glass to view our entire chart of accounts. Let's leave it at account 40,000. And here, the discount GL account. When we offer a discount, then that amount, this 2%, will be reflected in this account, 49000 Once again, this is the customer defaults window. So, so this is default information that we set up for all of our customers. We can change this information for any individual customer within their own customer record. Let's cancel this window and demonstrate this. Let's go to Maintain Customers and let's pull up our first customer. And let's say that we want to change the payment turn information for the Chapman Murphy Law Offices. Click on Sales Defaults and come down here to Terms. Uncheck the Use Standard Terms box and that enables the rest of this screen. Now we can set up any scenario of things. Let's say that we want them to pay us at the end of the month and that we do not want to offer them an early pay discount. We simply delete these windows and let's say also that we want to change their credit limit. Their credit limit is instead $50,000. Click OK and now we have new terms for this customer. 